Today we are going to build on OVH Cloud. Well, we're actually going to make a dedicated server and get all set up for us to put VMs on. And I just figured I would take you through this with me, so I'm not doing it by myself. Anyway, I'm going to click on this guy because this is my dedicated server. And you can tell that I'm currently using it as just strictly an Ubuntu box, but we're going to switch that. So since I see System OS, we're going to click that beautiful... Uh, Horizontal snowman, horizontal, horizontal, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna install from no VH Cloud template. Click next, and we should shortly, very shortly here in just a moment, see uh, under Windows uh, Hyper V. So we've got 2016 and we've got 2019. I am going to opt for the 2019 install just because I don't want to have to upgrade in a couple years. Because you can see 2012, 2016, 2019. I don't want to have to upgrade soon. Anyway, uh, do English. Now, I do want to click customize the partition, kind of, but we're not going to do that because we don't... There's really nothing for us to customize, to be honest. It's just, it's going to do its own thing, really. So there's not much to do. Um, so now it talks about using an SPLA license. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, you know, we're all set to go, honestly. Just confirm all that stuff, and let's get the show on the road. Um, it's really, at this point, just kind of going to start installing, and this part just takes time. So there's not a lot for us to work on here. We can't really do a whole lot, but I guess what I'm going to do is just pause this and listen to a little bit of music while I do a little bit of studying because I have some stuff to study. Okay, we are back on track. By the way, if anyone wants to know, the PCIe X16 expansion slot is used primarily for video. I got that one right. Let's just do one more before we jump back to this stuff. It wants us to select three best answers. A coworker installed the second hard drive in his Windows computer. However, he does not see the drive in Explorer. What did he forget to do? Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is a real pain in the bum hole here. Um, <clears throat> I have to select three answers of these damn things. Are you kidding me? Okay, there's a couple things he could have forgotten to do. First of all, I feel like he probably did not set up the drive in UEFI BIOS. Secondly, probably did not... He probably did not partition the drive. He probably did not... No, should not have to format the drive. No, may, yeah, maybe... Initialize the drive? I'm going to say format the drive and partition the drive. Oh my god, you fucker. Okay. For secondary drives, you must go to Disk Management and Initialize, Partition, and Format them. Explore in the question, or Explore in the question could mean File Explorer, Windows 10, or Windows Explorer, Windows 7. Incorrect answers. FDisk is an older DOS command. Today's computer uh, is UEFI BIOS, so you should see the drive autom automatically with no, excuse me, configuration needed. In special cases, a hard drive might require special drivers. Yeah, I was probably thinking back to Windows 98 and Windows Me, whatever, dude. I'm doing good. I gotta do one more now. Emergency, your boss forgot the password to the UEFI BIOS on a computer. Which of the following methods helps you reset it? Just remove the CMOS battery. Everybody knows that trick. Hey, look at that. I'm smart. Okay. Um, anyway, let's get back to business here. We, if we refresh this, should now see Windows uh, Hyper-V instead of Ubuntu. Mm-hmm, 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 okay, so now we just need to remote into this machine and set it up how we want it, so let's copy this IP, and now that we've got this IP copied, we should now be able to go to Alice Bob, and let's go into our service emails because we will now have our password in here. And I need to change the password right away. 
But let's first open this up and do a new PC. We're gonna paste that in and we'll search for it too. Double click to run it. Now we need to get the password. And now I think just administrator should do the trick here. Okay, continue. No, that was not good enough. What, you, you don't think that I can do this right? You guys. Oh, the account, it's just admin. Okay, sure. That did the trick. Very cool. So we should be able to, um, th there should be a post. I know that I made a post at one point in time that basically showed how to do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to YouTube. This is it, this is what we wanted. Jeez, so man. This is... this is it right here, absolutely. There you go, man. Okay, well, while this is installing, let's do a couple more practice questions, I guess. Um, yeah, so remove the CMOS battery. Normally this trick resets any variable settings in the UFI BIOS, such as a password and time date. Some older systems also have a BIOS config. Uh, jumper that must be moved to another position in addition to removing the battery. Incorrect answer is removing the RAM doesn't do anything. When the computer is turned off, RAM contents are emptied. That's why it's volatile. That's why frameworks like volatility exist. Today's motherboards usually don't have RAM jumpers. Removing the main power connection from the motherboard will have no effect if the computer was already turned off and unplugged. By the way, RAM and power connections should not be removed unless the power has been shut off and the AC cable has been unplugged. Very good. Setting an administrator password in the BIOS accomplishes which of the following? Prevents an attack, no. Prevents a virus, no. Prevents a user from, no. Okay, I, I didn't even read this, but yes. Prevents a user from rearranging the boot order, yes. Okay. Which of the following will occur if the uh, temp environment variable is ex ex executed from run applications? Yeah, here. Nope, it's this one. Okay. Let's go back to this. So, this should be good. We should now have... Here, let's uh, find string v4. That gives us this. And now we know, now we should know, uh, if we can go to HTTPS, that, and it loads, admin, yay, it works. I am just honestly scared about this part right here. Like, to be fully honest, I don't like this. Um. Publish your Windows Admin Center gateway server to the public internet, then you can connect to and manage servers. <laughs> <laughs> you're from anywhere. Manage servers, you're from anywhere, and all in a secure manner. <laughs> that sounds very safe. <laughs> oh. 
We have 32 processors, 128 gigs of RAM. I like what I see. I like what I see. We could change this to a non-standard port. So for example, rather than having port 443, we could pick like a high 60,000 port that is hardly ever looked at ever. So that way you don't have to, um, you know, I guess you don't really have to worry too much because then the chances of your thing getting scanned and found are, are just a lot less likely. You know, more common ports are scanned rather than just some weird random port. So, I mean, it's possible, but you get what I'm saying. Just, it's not about being the most secure in the entire world. It's just about being better than the other guy. And so, you can't be perfect, but you can always try to be better, and you can try to, to always do more, right? That's all. And from here, I'm just going to build, uh, I'm going to build out an Ubuntu server. And then from there, I'm going to build a postfix mail gateway to, to rebuild what I already had set up earlier. And then I'm going to uh, throw, throw together a couple of Docker containers with some round robin uh, Nginx type of stuff. I don't know. So, something cool is going to happen though, and, and I'm going to get my site all going live, and then I'm going to make like a, a little tiny, I'm going to turn this cluster, this one part of the cluster, well it's not a cluster yet really, but I'm going to, I have some cool plans, I'm going to make it to where I can just host a bunch of uh, WordPress sites on another um, host on this, and then I'm just going to start doing WordPress site hosting, and you know, get a couple clients under my wings and start doing monthly payments and stuff. Got to, got to make, got to make the stacks come on in. Got to fill that savings account up, you know, just I'm going to be doing a lot more saving and a lot more, uh, a, a lot more looking into, you know, ways to, to harden things, but also to make more money. So yeah. All right. Peace guys. Have a happy 2021. Hopefully it's going well for you so far. Later.